Hi everyone, it's Nicole again. Uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I um, first want to say thank you for all the love and support that I have received this past week. It's It was a rough couple weeks, um, but this week wasn't too bad. I, um, I prayed and I prayed and whatever evil or negative energy or entity or whatever that was around me is gone and um, I prayed um, to God and to see if you know if I should continue uh, with this YouTube channel and I can so at the end of each um, video I'm going to end with some kind of prayer or inspirational quote or a scripture or something because I'm going to bring God into my um, YouTube channel and um, yeah, I've uh, I'm at peace about some things. Um, we're going to go into details on another day um, on Tuesday so there'll be another video on Tuesday. Um, but thank you guys. I really appreciate the love and support and I'm back and, um, yeah, so I'm back. <laughs> um, today is just a little bit of Saturday sip and chat. Um, it's just a few things I want to show you. Um, and I need to get something off my chest. Um, I'm not a political person, but I need to share this with everybody. And, um, you know, with the help of God and, you know, my faith, I am in a much better place. I don't know if any of you have been uh, attacked spiritually. But that usually tends to happen when something big is going to happen or something good has happened and Satan is trying to tear you down. He told me to uh, put God in my YouTube channel and more of that and and among other things, I've just, I've gotten so wrapped up in everything that's been going on and my opinions on it and with being a neutral person who, who backs the blue and also backs, you know, certain things of Black Lives Matter. I am a woman of God. And we all need to be at peace and stop fighting. And, you know, everybody has the right to protest and march peacefully. And God is telling me that everybody needs to pray. You want to protest, you want to march peacefully. In order to make things happen, you need to pray. Because things are not going to change until we go back to God. Until we start believing in him and believing in the miracles that he can can make and I believe things will change and I know this is a little different video than what I usually am doing but things that I've kind of held in and I'll go more into details next on, on Tuesday I 
just believe that and we can disagree. I respect everybody's opinion. I'm a person, I'm a woman who, who respects everybody's opinion and it's not going to be the same as mine. I respect that. I don't attack it. See, when you, everybody believes what they believe and that's okay. As long as you don't preach it to other people and you respect the opposing opinion and not attack that and not attack that opinion or attack that person. I've seen so many people on Facebook and outside in real life that are no longer friends or family because of what they believe in. If we can come together and respect each other's opinions and and beliefs, respect it instead of attacking it, and say, I'm not going to attack you for your opinion. I'm just going to pray. You know, I've learned how to pray for my enemies recently. In the past six months, I, I've, it was very hard. Instead of attacking them, pray for them that they see your side. Or pray that, you know, they can get some kind of understanding on your side. Because two wrongs don't make a right. Because both sides are fighting. Satan and his minions and his demons are, are, are all alike. They're running amok. They are running amok. They are having a field day. They are celebrating because <clears throat> how else do you explain the coronavirus? There is a demon corona, by the way. And what happened with George Floyd and all of this violence and and I'm not going to make it political but <clears throat> I think we just need to pray because God is mad at what we've all become he's mad right now He's mad. Everybody needs to put God first into everything. I want to say the wrong thing, so if I pause, don't mind me. Oh, I'm drinking coffee. It's just on the counter. Let me take a sip. If we start praying for things to get better, things are going to get better. I did a very powerful video that I might go back and and I might upload it. I don't know. <laughs> it, it was intense. It was intense. Um, I, I, I sent it to a couple friends of mine, but <clears throat> you know, I think and as far as the coronavirus okay, you're wearing a mask. This is my thing. You're wearing a mask to protect you from the sickness, but you need the armor of God to protect you from the demon corona. And you will not get it. If you wear a mask and you protect your, your body with the armor of God and, and pray that that he doesn't come, that the demon corona doesn't come near you or enter your body, you will not get it. If you don't like this video, 
If you don't like me talking to, to God, about God, you know, he's, you know, made me realize that it doesn't matter what other people think. If people don't like what you say or agree with you and don't like it, you don't have to be subscribed to my channel. You don't have to watch me. And <clears throat> I think I have pretty good subscribers who will support me like they always do and back me up. I know this is all like scramble, but this is, I want to say months of me building up. I've kind of really, you know, I mean, I've, I've told my opinions to people who are close to me. I've prayed, you know, but I've never really told you guys because um, the fear of being judged and he and God made me realize if somebody's going to judge you, it's they're not for you. And if there's backlash, I have to just pray for them and myself that I don't get to emotional or angry, you know, I'm work, working on um, some things and he's given me peace about things. And the last time I really prayed that hard, Lord, to the point where I'm in tears and I'm just praying and praying and praying, he brought Jamie into my life. It works. Oh, it works. Yeah, it were it really works. Prayer does work. I mean you have if you have any other religions, you know, I respect that. You know, I pray to Allah, pray to your Hindu gods, if you whatever. Whatever works for you. Because it's like whatever makes you happy and it doesn't hurt anybody or hurt yourself or myself or people around me I, I'm, I'm okay with that you know if it doesn't hurt me I don't care not that I don't care but you know it's, it's okay so thank you for listening to my rant and um, you know at the end of this we're gonna pray can't be too long because I forgot to charge my iPad last night, so it's on like 30%, so it can't be too long. <clears throat> I've been in her for a while. I'm going to switch her out of her. I've been loving my bra. It's so heavy. Because every time I, I would switch out of her for like a day or like a couple hours, and then I had to switch back. I would have to switch back. So, yeah. But there's two things I want to show you. Um, and I'm still shopping on Amazon. I'll do a little Amazon haul. Um, I do want to rant about Amazon in a minute, but why is my coffee in the frame? I don't know what's going on here. I have a new iPad case kind of driving me nuts right now. Anyway, so, first thing, you see my little long chomp mini cosmetic case? It's like the perfect thing. So this is where I store my masks. Take it out, put it back in. So it only goes in here. After, when I wash this, I also sanitize and wipe this thing down and I put it in my bag so here 
you go. So it only goes into my little long shelf because I've, I'm obsessed with this little thing. So I have to have a good use for it. So I like to just, it's perfect. Right? I love this thing. Oh, look at this. Okay, so um, I'm still using the Kiwis, but I want to show you. I have all of these extra cubes. I'm tired of just oh, doing this with keys. So I just have my extra keys that I don't really use in all my... Um, so basically my house key and my mailbox key are the only keys that are not on here. So this is what I have here right now. And it's just staying on the key leash. Just in case I need it. it, it's, it it's starting to be a pain in the butt to take up take out my keys. I used to use the key leash. Now I'm in the mood to use something else. Put this in. Put this back in for now. key ring thing. The Louis or they have long shots and I'm, I'm going to look into that. But for right now, I ordered a little something to use for my house key where it's easy to access. This is not a real Louis. This is a Daisy Rose. I got this like a few weeks ago. So I just have a keychain here that has just those two keys. It's just easy to grab. It's a four leaf clover one that I had. Um, so my house key and my mailbox key are in there. And I just, so I just take it out. Yeah. And I have to, um, look for I gotta I have to look for my spare keys I usually leave uh, my spare keys at work my spare key at work I couldn't find it because I was just gonna leave this and then you know use my Judy and Burke soft piano one I can't find it mm -mm, I cannot I cannot find it so I'm a little a little annoyed about that. A little annoyed. So I have to look for it. It's somewhere in the um, somewhere in my classroom. I don't know. But I'm just going to make an extra house key. Just an extra one. So that's what I did. I eventually would like to get a um, a real Louis Vuitton pochette. For now, I don't know. I just don't like how like the key holders are. Like you open up like that, and I, just, I don't know. This is a cute idea. I like, I, I, I like it with my work key. So you know how my work key, you just open it up, you just got it, and just it's perfect. Oh, and there's room, so it's not like. 
baggy. This is perfect. I haven't liked getting a whole lot of this. <laughs> yeah. I would like that. Sometime. So, yeah. So I'm just using this one for now. Um, my Daisy Rose Dummy a Bean Dupe, whatever you want to call it. But it's in that kind of print. It's very pretty. So, yeah, that's what I've been using. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching. I have to charge this iPad. But first, I am going to uh, just pray a little bit. I don't do long prayers. Um, I don't usually do it um, at night. I just, you know, unless I really feel it, and then I have to, and then I continue. But anyway, so let's end this uh, with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, let everybody feel blessed of what I had to say today. And uh, don't let anybody judge me, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. And please help who, uh, whoever is hurting, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. And please heal our land and our nation, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray anybody who is suffering from anything be healed, O oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. And Jesus, and I hope, and I pray, O oh Father God, that everybody has a good day and a nice weekend and feeling at peace and whatever they're going through, they find answers, O oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you were blessed and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, thank you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.